Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. We are back with Dan's coin review and valuations and in this video, a stunning pre-decimal coin. It's the 1935 half crown coin. We'll start off on the right hand side today with the portrait of King George V looking to the left. George V, Roman numerals for five on the left hand side. And there's some lettering around the top which stands for, by the grace of God, King of all Britons. We'll now move over to the left hand side. We've got the quartered shield in the middle. What a beautiful design. Top left and bottom right are both exactly the same, both representing England. Bottom left we've got the harp of Northern Ireland and top right we have got Scotland. Only three house signs on this one. and We've actually got the national emblems at the top. We have got the English rose. If you were to look to the right hand side, 90 degrees, 3 o'clock there on a clock, you would see the Northern Ireland shamrock for Northern Ireland. 9pm there on the left hand side, we have got the Scottish thistle. Either side there of the Royal Shield as well, in the middle we have got the crowned Royal Cipher. Half crown, the coins face value at the bottom along with 1935. FID, DEF at the top, Defender of the Faith, IND, IMP. Emperor of India. A really detailed design this one, it re really is incredible and one that I would definitely love to see make a return back into UK circulation. So what we'll do now is we'll move on to the mintage figures of the coin, exactly how many was made and then we can work out this coin's true value. So back in 1935, 7,022,200 of this coin were actually made. Now that is a low mintage figure but unfortunately if you're Half crown coin was made after 1919. It only contains 0.5 silver, whereas if it was made before 1919 or on 1919, it would be 0.925 silver. Huge different in prices. Now, if you have the 1939 half crown coin in perfect condition, you still are looking 20 to 25 pounds. The good quality coin will still fetch the eight to 10 pound mark. Poor quality, two to three pounds. Still not the end of the world. However, if you're comparing that to the 1919 coin or coins made just in a couple of years before that, you're looking again 80 to 100 pounds. A lot different for those perfect uncirculated. Still a beautiful coin, cannot take anything away from that. And one that I am very happy that I do have in my collection at home. If you would like to see your coin featured on one of these videos, please do comment it below. Sorry for maybe being a little bit confusing about the silvers there. But I do hope you enjoyed it still. Stay safe and as always, guys, thanks for watching.